Here's a fascia board repair that realistically didn't take me more than 15 minutes to do and uh, thought I would share it with you even though some of you professionals might think, God, I would never do something like that. Well, hey, I've got a shed in my backyard that's practically falling down. I think all that's holding it together are the uh, termites. And of course, the reason for the damage is because the roofing here isn't sealed at the edge. So the water basically rolls back and, uh, you know, uh, gets the wood nice and wet. So this area, of course, needs to be sealed with some type of a roofing sealant, uh, you know, a caulking, anything that would uh, bond it a little better to the metal. And uh, here's the roof. You can see it doesn't have a big slope to it. All I did was grabbed a, a 1x6 I had laying around, it's 1x6 fascia board, clamped it to the existing fascia board, and of course I lined it up with one of the rafters. And of course the other end is, um, the piece wasn't long enough, so it's, it's not uh, going to make it on the other side, but you can see here that it's lined up about center, halfway on the board and uh, I just simply ran my saw off the side of each end. This was the left, this was the other side and you can see right there take I, I took the uh, damaged wood out and obviously I didn't replace the um, roof rafter there. You can see it's damaged and termites are uh, going to town there like I said. Removed it and of course uh, cleaned it up a little bit there's the board on top. I just set it on top while I was cutting and cleaning up. Voila, there it is. Put it in place and start uh, nailing or screwing it to the, to the shed there. And of course I did need to use a board and I don't think I have a picture of it. But on the one side where I didn't, couldn't screw it into a rafter. So this would be on this side right here. I needed to put a one by in back of it. You could use a scrap piece of plywood, anything. And uh, you know, something about maybe a foot long. And I screwed it into the existing purple fascia board and to the new fascia board. And uh, you know, that way it gave me a nice flat surface. And again, like I said, this is something that I would recommend doing on you know, like I said, a shed like this that's falling down, you know, you're just you're just patching it up to make it look a little better, uh, you know, than it does and to prevent the damage that is already taking place from getting worse. So again, like I said, with this, and, and you can see where I cut the metal too. That's something else I wanted to point out. Um, you know, like I said, you're not going to do this in 15 minutes without cutting the metal most of the time. Uh, all, you could either put another piece of metal on if you wanted to. Let's face it, the roofing isn't bonding to the metal very good. And then rebond the metal to the roofing material with some type of a uh, roof sealant, roofing sealant. Um, but uh, all you need to do here is fill the gap between the uh, new and the old fascia board with some type of a caulking and then just take and fill the um, gap where you cut the metal. Just fill that with caulking too. It's like I said, this isn't something you're going to want to do for, uh, you know, on a house where you're trying to preserve it and keep it in good shape. This was just a repair I did just to keep uh, keep the thing, uh, you know, hopefully get a few more years out of it. If you don't fix stuff like this, you know, eventually it is going to get worse. And of course, my wife patched it originally with Bondo. And uh, I think that lasted about two years and it fell out and uh, it was time to replace it with a, with a board. That's it. 15 minutes uh, might take you 13 minutes, might take you an hour, but there it is.